In this video, we will discuss how to perform phrase matching in Elasticsearch. Now, let me first make it clear what we understand by the term phrase. A phrase is essentially a set of terms or words that follow a certain order. Let me get back to Kibana. And here I have this set of A documents as my data set. And I have a match query here where we want to match the job description field to the term test. If I click on send, indeed, we get a set of two results. Till now, what we have been doing is that we have only been matching a single word against a certain field. Let us try to augment this and say, I want to search for engineer test. What do we expect? Here we see a set of three results. In the first one, we have both the terms engineer and test. In the next one, we have the term engineer. And in the next one, we have the term test, but not engineer. Now, what I want to clarify here is that this is not a phrase match because when we are matching a phrase, the order of the terms and the presence of the terms is essential. In our search results here, we can see that this document does not contain the term test and this one does not contain the term engineer. Therefore, this is not doing a phrase match. To actually do a phrase match, I will copy this and instead of match, I will say match phrase. And the search term in this case, we would like to keep as in test. And we hit elastic search and we see that we have two hits and we have the following documents, software developer in test, software developer engineer in test. And that is exactly what we were looking for in test. Now, it won't always be the case that the phrase that we are trying to find will always occur as adjacent terms in our documents. Suppose, let's say, for example, I say software test as our search phrase. Now, we would expect this document and this document to turn up. But when I hit Elasticsearch, I see that I do not get any hits at all. To try to understand this more, we'll head to the documentation and we find an example here, which is very similar to our example. And here it says that a phrase query matches terms up to a configurable slop, which is zero by default in any order. Let's see what the slop does. Here I am back at Kibana and I'll have to modify this query a little bit. Let me paste it right here. And I'll remove this from here. I'll add a JSON object in which I'll say that my query is software test as well as let me specify a slop of one. Now, what does this slop mean? The slop can be essentially understood as the distance between the terms that we have specified for phrase matching. So if I say that I am allowing for a slop of one, I am searching for all such phrases in which software and test can have a maximum of one term in between of them. If I send this request to Elasticsearch, I still do not recover any hits. If we check our documents, I see that to retrieve this, we will need a slop of three. And for this, we will need a slop of two. So uh, I'll change the slop here to two. And yes, I get the first result. And if I change it to three, yes, I get another result where we have a slop of three. Let us now try to change the order of our search terms. So I'll put test before software and again, I do not get any hits. If I check the documentation once more, it says that transposed terms have a slop of two, which means to accommodate terms which are not in the order as we would find them in the documents, we have to give an additional slop value of two. 
So if I give a slope value of four here, I again start getting this document. And why do I receive it here? Because software and test in between them have a slope of two as well as since they are transposed in this search query, they also need a additional slope of two. That is two plus two, four. And that is when this document will match this phrase query. Again, if I increase the slope to five, I start getting this document again. And how have we retrieved this? Because here we have a slope of three in between as well as for the change in order, we have a slope of two, which is a total slope of five. And this is what we also call a proximity query where we say give a very large value to the slope and then try to find documents where these terms occur, but we are not concerned with the order or the distance between these terms. Nonetheless, the, the documents where the terms occur close by will have a higher score than the documents in which the terms occur further away. In this case, we can see that here the documents are having a slope of two and hence they have a higher score as compared to this document where the slope is greater or the distance between the search terms is greater. And that finishes this short discussion on phrase matching. If you find the content of this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching.